Today, we're going to try to put everything together with our proportional relationships. We're going to look at a proportional situation and convert it to a table, an equation, and a graph. So let's go back to our very, very first proportion from this unit. For Nana's chocolate milk, we know that for one cup of milk, she likes four scoops of chocolate. And if you do that, then it tastes good to her. So in order to make this a table, the first thing that we want to do is write cups of milk. And we're going to call that X. That's the input. That's the first number we're going to work with. So for cups of milk, we're going to put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to make a table because we don't know how many cups Nana might want. And these are all the different possibilities of cups that Nana might like. After we do that, we're going to make scoops. That is going to match with each number of cups, how many scoops we need. And we're going to call that Y because that's the output, the second number we have. So we know that if Nana has zero cups of milk, she needs zero scoops of chocolate. She has one cup of milk, she needs four scoops of chocolate. She has two cups of milk, she needs eight scoops of chocolate. She needs three cups of milk, she needs 12 scoops of chocolate. She has four cups of milk, she needs 16 scoops of chocolate. She has five cups of milk, she needs 20 scoops of chocolate. Now, what does that mean? That means that for every cup of milk, she needs four scoops of chocolate. That is what we call the K value, the constant of proportionality. All right, that's an important number when working with proportions. It's what number do you multiply X by to get Y? Now, if I was gonna create an equation out of this to generalize how many scoops I would need for every cup, Y is the number of scoops. And what we said is you always take the constant of proportionality and multiply by the number of cups. So the general equation is Y equals four times X. And that's how you write the equation of a proportion. You take the output and that's gonna be equivalent to the constant of proportionality times the input, which is X. Now, how does that look as an equation? Well, I'm sorry, as a graph. Well, the first thing we want to do is make a Y axis, and that's a vertical line going up and down, just like I have here. Then you want to make an X axis, and that's going to be a horizontal line going like this. Now, we said X is cups, so I'm going to write that down there. And we said Y is scoops, so I'm going to write that over here. Well, for cups, I know that I use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to start this very first line at 0. Then this is going to be 1 cup, 2 cups, 3 cups, 4 cups, 5 cups. Then for scoops, I know I use 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So I'm going to make each box go up four for here. So I'm going to start at zero. You always got to start at zero. And this first box will make four scoops. The second box will make eight. The third box will make 12. The fourth box will make 16. And this one we'll call 20. So I know that when I have zero scoops, I have zero cups. That would be this point right here. When I have one cup, I have four scoops. When I have two cups, I have eight scoops. When I have three cups, I have 12 scoops. When I have four cups, I have 16 scoops. And when I have five cups, I have 20 scoops. And you can see that goes a nice straight line right through the origin. This last point was five comma 20. All right. So that means five scoops, five cups require 20 scoops. So I've now represented this whole situation as a table as an equation, and as a graph. Let's do one more. Now let's say I like my chocolate milk much, much less chocolatey. So for me, who has a different taste than Nana, I like four cups of milk and only two scoops of chocolate. It's a very, very different uh, taste of chocolate milk. It's much, much more milky, which is okay with me. So 
Let's convert this to a table, an equation, and a graph. So first, we're going to start off the same, right? We have cups of milk, which is our x value. That's our input. We're going to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, this is a little tougher, though, to figure out the scoops because I know that 0 cups is going to give me 0 scoops. And it tells me that 4 cups gives me 2 scoops. Well, how can I figure out these other ones? Well, there's a couple ways. What I would do is say, well, if I have half the number of scoops, cups, then I should have half the number of scoops. So 4 to 2 is the same as 2 to 1. That's proportional. Now, hopefully, I can see a pattern. If I take half of 2, I should take half of 1, which is 0 0.5. So it looks like for every one cup, I need a half a scoop. So two cups give me a whole scoop. Three cups, I should need 1.5. Four scoops gets me two, and five scoop, five cups should get me 2.5 scoops. So you can see it's a different situation. Now, in this case, what is my K value? Well, my K value, just like up here, is what do I multiply by one to get four? What do I multiply two by to get eight? What do I multiply three by to get 12? Or you could say 4 divided by 1, 8 divided by 2, 12 divided by 3. Well, if I do the same thing down here, 2 divided by 4 is a half. Or you could say half of 4, 2. So in this case, the k value is 0 0.5, or a half. Well, how would I write the equation? The equation would just be y equals 0 0.5 times x. Because again, the equation is just the constant of proportionality times x. And that's always going to equal your output. What might my graph look like here? Well, again, I'm going to need a y-axis. I'm going to need an x-axis. This is my y, and this is my x. Once again, the x is cups, and the y is scoops. Again, I'm going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for my x. So we'll call this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And for my scoops, I'm actually going to call each box a half because that's going to be easier to match my table. So I start at 0 always, and this is going to be 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5. And 0 goes with 0, 0 cups goes with 0 scoops, 1 cup goes with 0.5 scoops, 2 cups goes with 1 scoop, 3 cups goes with 1.5 scoops, 4 cups goes with 2 scoops, and 5 cups goes with 2.5 scoops. All right, and this last point again is 5 cups goes with 2.5 scoops. So what I've just done is I've taken a proportional situation, I've written it as a table, an equation, and a graph. And all three of these are able to tell me the same information in different ways.